So, I'm here to measure the speed of light for you. Why am I here? Because Connor asked me. Uh, after the last ignite, he wanted to know, could we do an experiment uh, like in the last ignite, except this time me measuring a physical constant? So, I'm volunteering to try and measure the speed of light for you. Now, as you probably noticed, light is quite fast. When you turn it on, you don't really wait for the light to arrive. Um, so, we're going to need a trick because it's too fast to just measure. And the trick we're going to use is the fact that light is an electromagnetic wave. Okay, so this is quite a good trick. But first, I better explain to you what a wave is. Okay. So, this is the waves on Darling Mount Beach, and this is roughly the right picture to have in your head. Uh, waves come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes out on the water, but there's, they all have one thing in common, and this is the wave equation, which is written in the sand down the bottom. All the waves fulfill this equation. So there are some special waves you need to know about. This one is called a traveling wave. It goes along like this, and it's a little bit like the uh, uh, waves in the water. They sort of head off in one direction and keep going that way. And light is like that. But there are other types of special wave as well. Uh, there's a standing wave, which stays in one spot and just goes up and down. So this is like a guitar string. This guy is much easier to measure because he doesn't zoom off somewhere, OK? So our trick is we're going to look at the standing wave. So what do these two things have in common? Well, I told you the thing that they have in common is this wave equation. There's a number in it here called C, which is in red. And what the wave equation tells us is for both these types of special waves, uh, C is what you get when you multiply the wavelength by the frequency. And it turns out for the moving wave, it's also the speed. Now, the wavelength is how long it takes to go up and down, and the frequency is how many times it goes up and down a second. But we're going to need an electromagnetic wave to measure, and this is why I have a microwave, because microwaves roughly work by having a standing wave inside them. We also need something to detect the wave inside the microwave, and this is why I have some cheese on a piece of cardboard. <laughs> okay. So the idea is easy singles are very handy. Uh, you put the, them on a piece of cardboard to keep them away from the turntable. You close it up, and with any luck, it zooms off. So the other thing we have to measure is the frequency. I'm going to look at this uh, to measure the wavelength. Uh, to get the frequency, there's all the kinds of things we could do because electromagnetic waves are a big family of things. So you could use a radio if you had a radio that you could tune to the right frequency. You could use this thing, which is a spectrum analyzer, which is basically a very, very expensive radio. And if I had one of these here, I could easily measure the frequency uh, that this is producing. But there is a cheaper and simpler way of finding out what the frequency is, which is to turn your microwave around, <laughs> look at the back, and it says 2,450 uh, million cycles a second. Uh, so if we have a look inside now, what's happened in the meantime is various bits have got burnt on the cheese. And if you're careful with these, now I'm going to have to, I've been unlucky, I'm going to have to measure a half wavelength instead of a full one. Two of these is one up and one down, and it's about seven and a half, eight centimetres. Um, here's one that I did at home. So seven and a half, eight centimetres, if I double that, uh, we're about here, so the speed of light is about 367 million metres per second. Now, that isn't too bad, actually, because the right answer is 300 million meters per second. So we've, we've done OK. <laughs> now, I used a trick, though. Where did I get my trick from? I used the fact that light is an electromagnetic wave. And how do we know that? Maxwell, in the 1860s, was looking at uh, mag uh, electric stuff and magnet stuff, and he came up with these equations. And when he messed around with them a bit, he discovered he could rearrange them into this form, which is a wave equation. And he said, holy crap, that's a wave equation. I know these numbers here, so I can figure out the speed. So he stuck in mu zero and epsilon zero, which people had known for a while, to figure out what the speed of this wave would be. And it turned out to be 300 million meters per second. And he went, wow, that's amazing. That must mean light's probably an electromagnetic wave, because he already knew the speed of light. And he also thought, maybe you can make electromagnetic waves deliberately, and that's where we get radio, or radio from later. But how did they know the speed of light already in 1860, because they didn't have microwave ovens? What they did was uh, there were some people trying to use, do navigation, and they needed to know what the time was. And they were looking at Jupiter, because Jupiter is a moon called Io, which goes round and round and round. And very often, Io moves round into Jupiter's shadow and back out again. And if you're looking from the Earth, what you see is Io blinks out and blinks back in again. And they thought this should be pretty regular, but they discovered it wasn't quite as regular as they thought it should be. And so a guy called Roma, who was a Danish guy, figured out why this was. If the Earth was closer to Jupiter, you saw it earlier. And if the Earth was far from Jupiter, you saw it later. And that was because light was taking longer and longer to get from Jupiter to the Earth if it was further away. So Roma estimated 22 minutes to cross the orbit of the Earth. And the right answer these days is about 16. So I've measured the speed of light for you. We're not too far off. You can do it using cheese in the microwave. But if you want to do it a more authentic way, you can go out and check out Jupiter. Thank you. <laughs>